Hi, I'm Paul Solentrop, and this is Bob Lutz, the Wichita Eagle and Kansas.com. We're here on a on a sad occasion, but we're going to turn it into a, a remembrance and celebration of Dave Stallworth, the uh, Wichita State All-American. Passed away at age 75 last night. Uh, Bob saw Dave as a uh, as a youngster when Bob would go to games at the it was the W W Field House then. It was the yeah the Roundhouse. The Roundhouse then. Yeah, take us back to that time. You were how Se old? Section R, row 23. All right. I went with my dad, and uh, you know, when I started going to games, Dave Stallworth was in his prime, and uh, completely got lost in in his abilities. And, and the team was great, but Stallworth was so good, and it makes an unbelievable impression on a little kid to see a player like that, and to see a fan base that is so wrapped up in in Dave Stallworth. So. Uh, I, I wrote in a column that he had as much to do as anyone outside of my father probably with my love for basketball especially and, and sports as a, you know, as a whole. Yeah, you know, I think people have seen pictures, maybe a few video clips. Describe his plot, his playing style. What did he look like out there on the court? Well, he was just so smooth, you know, silky smooth. That's a term that gets thrown around a lot, but Dave could shoot the basketball, he could go inside, he rebounded, he defended, he passed, he was an all-around great player. And some of the battles he had with the other great players in the Missouri Valley Conference at that time, and then Cassie Russell up at Michigan, they were big rivals. It was interesting that they later played together in the NBA, won a title with the Knicks uh, together in 1970. But, you know, Dave was just so, so good. I mean, he, I remember distinctly uh, a foul call being made against Stallworth and he didn't like the call and he was walking at a 45 degree angle from the basket out probably where the three point line would be today and in his displeasure he kind of tossed the ball over his head like he got to be kidding and the ball went in now not that that <laughs> not that that's uh, that shows his ability but who else could have possibly done that than Dave Stallworth. I, the, the reaction of the crowd was like, you know, they were booing and angry, and then it was like, how, did that? Did I just see that? Is there a game you remember from sitting in your stands? You know, your it's seats? so hard, as, as I'm sure you know, it's so hard to go back to memories, distinct memories of when you were seven and eight years old. But I just know that every game, the, there was a, a cloud of smoke in the rafters. You could smoke inside the arena. and. Um, my dad, I'm sure, was smoking cigarettes, and it was just an, an incredible atmosphere. And almost every game the Shockers played at that time was a big game because they were ranked nationally. They brought in a lot of nationally ranked teams to play in the non-conference part of their schedule, and the Missouri Valley Conference was loaded. So every every game was an event. You had a freshman game before the varsity game, and you, the freshman games there were two, three, four thousand people at those. So it was. It was an incredible time in Shocker basketball history. Uh, Wichita went to the NIT in 1954 with Cleo Littleton, kind of got things started, got the impetus for the roundhouse to be built, and then came Dave Stallworth. Put his historical uh, importance into perspective for us. Well, you try not to go overboard or, or too much hyperbole, but to me, Dave Stallworth made that building. Uh, he created the atmosphere that still exists today. If it, if it hadn't been for Dave Stallworth and his teammates and Ralph Miller and, and that era, but certainly Dave was the, the leader. Uh, I don't know what Shocker basketball would be today. I think you got to give him a ton of credit for what we witness in 2016-17. Here we are in Indianapolis. Shocker's getting ready to play in their sixth straight NCAA tournament. I think some of this goes all the way back to Dave. No doubt. This is the, the Stallworth 5000, I think, is how it was referred to. When things were bad, you could always count on you know, a certain amount of people showing up in, uh, in Levitt Arena to, to see the Shockers. Uh, Dave played in the NBA, won an NBA title with the Knicks. What are your memories about that part of his career? I became a Knicks fan. You know, He was on that team, so was Nate Bowman, and, and Nate and Dave played together at Wichita State. They were high school friends. It was odd because uh, they went down to recruit uh, Ralph Miller's brother went down and really was interested in Nate Bowman, happened to see Dave Stallworth on his trip to the Metroplex. Nate played in Fort Worth, Dave was from Dallas. So they later teamed at Wichita State, they later became teammates on the Knicks, and 
Dave would have, to me, Dave had two incredible seasons his first two years in the NBA. And then he got sidelined a little bit by some heart issues and was never really the same player. That's too bad, too, because I think we'd be talking about Dave as being maybe not a great NBA player, but a very, very good one. Then after his NBA career, he ended up back in Wichita, worked at Boeing, became you know, a part of Wichita State Games. You would see him there pretty frequently until his health began to catch up with him. How did your relationship change once he got back to Wichita? Well, we had him on radio at times and it, just to talk basketball, and he talked basketball like no one else. It was so fascinating to hear him talk about the game. He, was, he had very strong opinions about basketball and about his abilities and just a very soft-spoken uh, man and I, I really became enamored by him even more by getting to know him as an adult so it's been a, a real distinct honor for me personally to, to get to watch him play as a very young person and then get to know him on a level away from that. A lot of Wichita State fans will, will feel the same way. All right, thank you for watching. I'm Paul Solentrop and Bob Lutz talking about the passing of Dave Stallworth. You can read about it in the Wichita Eagle and Kansas.com.